Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Selected questions from mock test number four, bioenergetic. इसमें से हम फोटोसेंसिस के रिलेटेड कुछ क्वेश्चन डिस्कस कर रहे होंगे लेट्स मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर वन साइटोक्रोम्स दे बिलोंग टू द फैमिली ऑफ फ्लेवर प्रोटीन जो साइटोक्रोम एंजाइम्स हैं फोटोसेंसिस या रेस्पिरेशन के दौरान इलेक्ट्रॉन कैरियर्स दे आर बेसिकली फ्लेवर प्रोटीन सो राइट ऑप्शन है इसमें बीटा Excited chlorophyll can re-emit a photon and thereby return to its ground state in a process known as fluorescence. As you can see, K chlorophyll fluorescence light re-emitted by chlorophyll molecules during return from excited to non-excited state. Or an indicator of photosynthesis can under, which is the energy conversion in plants, algae as well as bacteria. So beta. Number three. When an excited chlorophyll causes a chemical change, it is basically studied under photochemistry. The excited chlorophyll molecule की वजह से अगर कोई chemical reaction हो रहा है, that is photochemistry. Number four, linear molecules with many conjugated double bonds in a photosynthetic organisms. Uh, in photosynthetic organisms, they are basically carotenoids. So beta is the right option over here. The chlorophyll uh, yeah, steroids, yeah, phospholipid, they have Multiple ring structures, so beta. Number five, the majority pigments in a photosystem work as antenna complex for capturing light energy. So beta is the right option. Question number five. Question number six. Hai. When red and far light are were given, more photosynthesis was seen than individual red light. It is known as enhancement effect, or uh, is related to photosynthesis or Far red or red light के अंदर maximum होगा rather than just red or far red light individually as you can see the graph as well. So Charlie, number seven, strong oxidant and weak reductant is produced in photosystem one by as you can see this uh, sorry it it is about photosystem two with photo strong oxidant and Weak reductant it is produced on photosystem type two, strong oxidant and weak reductant by red light. जब कि photosystem one के साथ अगर आप बात करें इसमें far red light photosystem one को weak oxidant और strong reductant में produce करेगी. So यहाँ पे अगर आप photosystem two लेते हैं, तो तब आपके पास right option बन रहा है red light. तो राइट ऑप्शन होगी इसमें अल्फा नंबर एट फोरोसिस्टम टू दे आर मेनली लोकेटेड इन स्ट्रैक्ट लेमिले जबकि फोरोसिस्टम जो वन है ये स्ट्रोमा के अंदर अनस्ट्रैक्ट लेमिले के अंदर ज्यादा मिलेंगे एज यू कैन सी ये फोरोसिस्टम टू आपको ये ज्यादा नजर आ रहा होगा स्ट्रैक्ट मेम्ब्रेन ऑफ थाइड वहां पर जबकि फोरोसिस्टम वन ये जो ग्रीन में है ये अनस्ट्रैक्ट लेमिले में रिलेटिवली अबंडेंट नजर आएगा राइट ऑप्शन है आपके पास स्टैक लेमिन नंबर नाइन नॉर्मली की जो द फॉलोइंग फोरोसिस्टम इज मोर अबंडन इन क्लोरोप्लास्ट तो क्लोरोप्लास्ट में भी आपने प्रीवियस डायग्राम में भी देखा थाइलेकाइट की फोरोसिस्टम टू दे आर मोर कॉमन मोर अबंडेंट एज यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम एज वेल ये ग्रीन कलर में शोन है इस डायग्राम में जबकि लाइट ग्रीन में फोरोसिस्टम वन डार्क ग्रीन फोरोसिस्टम टू सो राइट ऑप्शन इसमें होगी आपके पास नंबर नाइन में Photosystem type two, they are more abundant. A non-radiative energy transfer between chlorophyll molecules of antenna complex is called resonance, or a common source of antenna complex. के दरमियान energy transfer का from one molecule of photosynthetic pigment to the other until reaction center. So alpha. Number eleven, release of protons and photolysis takes place in lumen of thylakoid. जब कि NADPH की formation, उसकी जो site है thylakoid membrane के साथ link वो stroma site होगी. As you can see, photolysis होती है plus protons की production ये thylakoid lumen के events हैं. Number twelve, pumping of protons from stroma to lumen is a function of cytochrome B6 and F complex. They are mainly concerned with pumping of protons from stroma to the lumen. So, 
Charlie is the right option over here. Number 13, Melvin Kelvin and his colleagues discovered Kelvin cycle. Actually, Kelvin cycle 1950 was discovered. The Kane Nobel Prize was given Melvin Kelvin in 1961 before this discovery. Net synthetic products of Kelvin cycle they are uh, one molecule of G3P and three molecules of RUBP, so beta. Most abundant protein in biosphere is Rubisco or carboxylase oxygenase enzyme. But in animal world, we know that collagen is the most abundant protein and in human body, mein bhi by weight, collagen is protein. Rubisco, you know, an oxygenase enzyme and in uh, photosensis, ke ox uh, photo respiration may oxygenase and in photosensis, it will be carboxylase. How many organelles are involved in carrying out photorespiration in a cell? There are three organelles. First step in chloroplast, second in peroxisomes, and third and last step of photorespiration, it takes place within mitochondria. Photosynthesis is a multi-stage process. This statement was given by an English plant physiologist known as F.F. Blackman or Paki the famous aspect is Stephen Hales, uh, Julius Sachs, who is the father of plant physiology. Careless linear crop, binomial nomenclature. Kya se jante. F. F. Blackman added a lot of important hai, that at low light intensity, rate of photosynthesis increased by increasing light intensity. But in high light intensity, pe, rate of photosynthesis increased kya ja sakta by increasing temperature, not the light. Number 18, reduction potential for Kelvin cycle is mainly provided by photosystem type 1 because NADH ki formation, NADPH ki formation photosystem 1 ke saath associated as you can see over here. So right option is to be aapke paas beta. Number 19, the total number of ATPs and NADPH required for photosynthesis are 18 and 12 respectively as you know. Okay, 18 ATP, 6 CO2, 12 NADPH, they'll form 2 glycerol dehyde, 3 phosphate, or 1 glucose. So, alpha. How many photons will be required to synthesize one molecule of glucose? So, but I actually 60 photons. Kis tarah se in this way? Each scheme may have 4 photons required, and each cyclic scheme may 2 photons. Is this scheme में दोनों photosystem involved हैं और at a time हम अगर दो photons की बात भी करें तो product of one this scheme one ATP one NADPH and one oxygen atom जबकि one cyclic scheme में one ATP produce होगा total these schemes जो required होंगी वैसे तो बहुत से चल रही होंगी लेकिन balance करने के हवाले से वो twelve हैं जबकि total cyclic schemes आपको required हैं six वो क्यों आप लोग जानते हैं कि जो photosynthesis की equation है इसमें आपके पास at least 12 NADPH चाहिए और एक NADPH एक Z scheme में बन रहा होता है तो 12 Z scheme जब चलेंगे तो साथ 12 ATP भी produce हो जाएंगे बाकी 6 ATPs के लिए आपको cyclic scheme की तरफ नूप करना पड़ेगा so plus 6 cyclic scheme अगर add करें तो 18 ATPs जो है वो यहां पर बन जाए so 12 multiplied by 4 photons is equal to 48 और जो आपके पास बाकी के six scheme उसको आप two से multiply कर रहे because each cyclic scheme requires two photons twelve तो so, total photons जो required होंगे they'll be sixty forty eight plus twelve इसके जो simple level के questions हैं उसके लिए आप इसके given link पे click कर सकते हैं या end card पे bioenergetics related further questions और रेस्पिरेशन के पार्ट क्वेश्चंस इंशाल्लाह नेक्स्ट वीडियो में अपलोड किए जाएंगे थैंक यू फॉर लिसनिंग अल्लाह हाफिज़